Is it possible to finish Resident Evil 3 Remake demo under two minutes? Let's find out. In order to accomplish this, you need some set of tools, of skills, in order to accomplish this. You need to be practicing a lot of dodging. You can, you can master the dodge so well in order to do this. You need to know exactly where to run, exactly which points you need to go to, exactly, uh, you know, like how far you have to run around certain places in order to make the best outcome possible. This is not impossible to go under two minutes. However, it takes a lot of perfection. And I will show you guys everything that you need to know in order to finish the game under two minutes. In the top right corner, there will be an eye or a card that will take you to a video that will teach you how to dodge. It is the utmost importance that you learn how to dodge properly, because if you do not learn this skill, you will not be able to get this demo under two minutes, or potentially will not be able to save yourself a lot of resources, like uh, like healing items and stuff like that, if you do not know how to dodge. So look at that top right corner. It will help you a lot in the future anyway, for when the game does come out. I'm not too sure if all the dodging that you learn here in Resident Evil 3 will also be implemented in Project Resistance. However, it is still a very nice tool set to have for whenever the game does come out on the 3rd of April, just by the way. Now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's get right into the video. By the way, if you're still watching, throw a carton of milk on that like button. Make sure that you get your pen and paper out to make sure that you write everything down that I'm saying right now. It's gonna go fast, guys. Stay close to the right side here. Right click every now and then. It's like roughly every one second so that you can get the sprint burst up faster. There's a mark on the floor right here that you have to tap space three times so that you could you can get the third step further before Carlos is phoning you on the walkie-talkie. Walkie it's utmost importance that you nail that because if you don't, you will lose time. You do not want to cancel the walkie-talkie phone call because it doesn't take time. You want to walk all the way up here, press space once, and that's how you know you're close enough. With this zombie, all you got to do is stay uh, as close to the plastic or the, the uh, dustbin bags or whatever you want to call it, black bags, as possible. And right here, you have to run a, a, a very close S sign because if you don't, the zombie... There's two zombies there. One of them will grab you. There's an oil mark on the floor. Once you step on that oil mark, you want to do the triple burst forward. Um, and then you just uh, turn around and skip that. With this zombie, you run against the box. He will not grab you. He will lift up his hands, pointing toward the box here. And then you're safe. The zombie on the left side, you don't want to care about them. Uh, with these two zombies, you have to be very cautious because uh, I've uh, sometimes I've dodged perfect in from one into the another. With a zombie, you have to do a perfect dodge. There's no way around them if you want to do it fast as possible. And this upcoming zombie as well, you have to get a perfect dodge. It took me a lot of tries to get it perfect, but finally we mastered it. And uh, once you turn around, make sure that he's looking towards you. If he's not, you have to run around him because it's very hard to get the perfect dodge if the zombie is looking in a different direction. So it's better to just run behind him and then just press space in order to avoid him. Get that gap and then that's fine. Over here you want to press space at least once, which I haven't, in order to get the mass time. Look sideways, shoot the box. You have to be very cautious with that. Look behind you towards Nemesis because if you don't, he's going to jump in front of you. It's the utmost importance that you look behind you until he's out of your line of sight. Then you can look forward again, make sure you press space three times, get close, get on your item that you need, and then jump forward. Pretty much simple. We got it, and uh, yeah, it was very difficult. I took it uh, 20, 22 tries to get it perfect, um, but we finally managed to do it. So we got it one minute, 55 seconds. So yeah, there you guys have it. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure that you hit the bell button, guys. If you don't hit the bell button, you're technically not a subscriber on the channel. Make sure that you hit that bell button, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a, leave a comment if you guys want to see another challenge and uh, I will try my utmost best to do it for you guys.